Hi, I'm Justin Kim. I'm here at Bauhaus uh, Salon doing a haircut on my model Tess here uh, using my feather razor. Uh, the haircut we're going to be doing today is going to be inspired by a David Bowie kind of mullet look, uh, lots of texture. We're going to keep most of her length here in the back. We're going to flatten out this area here to really get that head shape showing off. Get rid of all her long sides and we're going to work her layers to her length of her bangs. All right, we have Tess uh, sectioned out, pre-sectioned for the haircut. I'll go ahead and show you kind of what we've done here. We left this, la this back section out. I'll be cutting here first. The idea behind this section is I'm going right at her occipital bone, cutting from short to long. I want to keep all of her length here. The reason I'm cutting short here is to flatten that area out so the layers that hang above it will hug the head better and create more of a head shape. From there, we'll move to the sides. The sides will be cut short as well, keeping a little bit of this length here. When we work to the top, I'm gonna to be cutting this section round, uh, round layers. This bang in the front will be a little bit more blunt, allowing for the layers to kind of hang over it softly. And then the last section will be the back. And again, this will hug right below the occipital bone. So my first section is going to be done vertically. This will be a moving guide all the way around the back. I'm going to do an open blade. What that means is my blade is going to be moving in with large strokes. So that way I can get a lot of texture. And I'm going to start short and work my way to long. My next section will also be vertical, and I'm going to be moving that with a moving guideline. And still cutting in the same fashion, short to long. If you'll notice what I'm talking about with my stroke size, is I'm going and opening this blade up a lot to create more softness. And we'll repeat the same steps on the next side. So you can see here that by cutting the hair short, we've accentuated that head shape. And what that did was it allowed that area to collapse and we got to keep all the length down here for that kind of mold inspired look. So now moving to the sides, what we're going to do is I'm going to work off the short length here. I'm going to over direct each section going back to maintain that length and softness up in the front. These will all be vertical sections over directed back.
So like the back, we flattened out this area as well, but by over directing things back, we were able to keep that softness in the front. When I'm all done with the cut, I'll run through and I'll do some tipping to create more space. And I'll explain that when we get there. On this side, we're gonna repeat the same steps. So same, same idea on this side, vertical sections, over directing back to maintain that length in the front. Okay, with the bangs, we're gonna cut a, a disconnected fringe. Uh, it's gonna be cut with more of a closed blade. And so what you'll notice with that is my blade is just barely moving um, up and down. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me a, a heavier line with some soft texture. So starting the next section, what we're gonna do here is vertical sections traveling. And the idea is I want the hair to live basically where that uh, uh, shortest piece was cut. Um, again, what that's gonna do is help emphasize that head shape. I'm going to go back to doing an open blade. So that's disconnected from underneath, correct? Correct. Okay. Still working those sections with an open blade. So now by having that disconnection, we can see how much more that hair hugs the head.
All right, with the next section, I'm gonna be playing off of her existing bang. Her previous hair from her fringe was up here, and I'm going to marry these two pieces together. I'm gonna to be bringing everything up to the top and cutting with open strokes towards and then repeating the steps on the other side. All right, with the last section, we're gonna work it just as we did with the front section. I'm gonna elevate everything straight up. All the hair on the sides will then travel up to this uh, point, and that will also create a little bit of that length down at the bottom to kind of marry this whole look together. And I'll repeat the same steps on this side. So the last thing I'm gonna to do to the haircut now is I'm gonna cross check everything to make sure it's perfect. And also while I'm cross checking, I'm going to be removing excess bulk. Um, I'm gonna do so by taking horizontal sections. All right, so the idea behind the blow dry is I'm gonna rough style it. I'm gonna to try to get some of her natural texture and movement to, to stand up and, and come to life um, while also just creating a little bit of volume. But the idea is to just be messy and more naturally lived in.
So this is our end result. Uh, Tess's hair, we go ahead and spin you around, kind of let you see the shape here. So again, when we, when we did this cut, I cut this length here the shortest, and we can see how much that emphasizes that head shape. It really helps accentuate this while also maintaining that length down at the bottom. Lots of movement. And then also with the disconnection on the sides allows that separation between the back and the front. Thank you.